Okay, so here, let's, let's go from the beginning. Alright, okay. Malaria. About 350 to 500 million cases of malaria occur worldwide every year, striking fear into the hearts of the citizens that dwell in the countries of Africa, Asia, the Middle East, Oceania, Hispaniola, and Central and South America. Of these many cases of malaria, approximately 1 million people die, mainly children under the age of 14. Since the dawn of time, the malaria protozoans Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium oval, and Plasmodium malariae have infested and wreaked havoc on frail humans. Malaria has no trace of history, no beginning, and no end. It is the alpha and omega of infectious diseases. Today, I will cover transmission, symptoms, Treatment, and lastly, I will tell you some preventative measures you can take to avoid death by malaria, or just being sick from it. This dastardly disease is transmitted by the lowliest creatures. These vile, venomous imps of the insect family are commonly known as the mosquito, and are part of the genus Anopheles. However, not all of this genus carry this often lethal protozoan. Only a few have this ability. The parasite begins within the mosquito, which then happily buzzes along as the parasite does not attack the scarier to look it up. This mosquito then viciously mauls the human <laughs> the and places its long trunk-like mouth into the victim's penetrable skin. It sucks the victim's blood out and replaces it with a weak toxin that contains traces of malaria. <laughs> The malaria protozoan then camps in the liver for several days, possibly weeks, reproducing. This is called the incubation stage. You're stoned, man. Then they roam the bloodstream like a wild, roving band of hooligans <laughs> in its area of destruction. While the victim is ill, another mosquito is likely to once again fall upon the unsuspecting <laughs> and receives coronavirus into its own bloodstream while in the process of depriving the victim of blood. Boom, you get bloody. Malaria Boom. has many symptoms. These include anyone or all of fever, fever. chills, sweating, jaundice, and headaches. If you see a person with these symptoms, that man, woman, can come in. probably has the killer disease malaria. You may want to purge them and or stay away from them. Some ways to treat malaria once it is acquired include taking drugs. The drugs that will actually help rather than harm are artisanamine from the quingo plant of China, quinine from the chichoa tree found in South America, chloroquine, and sulfadoxy pyrimethanamine. Prevention, on the other hand, is much cheaper and more effective. <coughs> to take some preventative measures, one can apply vast amounts of insect repellent on the exposed and naked parts of the body. This is supposed to keep mosquitoes away from the smell, but more frequently works as human repellent. The more effective way to keep mosquitoes from biting you is to wear long-sleeved clothes and pants, and sleeping under a mosquito net which keeps the little monsters off your body. One could also swallow preventative drugs, but if you use them too much, they will cause irreversible damage to your liver. Other than that, there's not much one to do. It is 